today to do another upgrade on the Slash 4x4. Um, today I'm going to be installing uh, Traxxas's aluminium bearing adapter for the slipper clutch assembly in the Slash 4x4. Um, there is the part number. Of course, uh, parts codes will be in the description below. Um, but it's just it's a simple upgrade, but um, should prolong the life of your bearing and just help everything to run a lot smoother in the long run. So today I'm going to show you how to install this on your Slash 4x4 or, and the same uh, sequence goes for the Stampede 4x4 and also the Traxxas Rally. Uh, so I'm just going to take my body off and <coughs> set that off to the side. Now I haven't worked on my Slash 4x4 for a while, it's just been driven a whole lot so not much maintenance has gone in so if it's all dirty and stuff that's just me running the hell out of it but first things first you're going to want to take these screws here you've got one here and one here and then flip the car over you've also got one here and one here you're going to take all four of them out using a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench so I'm going to cut the video here and I'll come back once I have taken all these screws out. Alright guys, I'm back now and as you can see I have removed these two screws from here as well as the two screws from underneath. And as you can see the car just pulls apart just like so. And then to spin the car around you have access to your slipper clutch and your pinion gear assembly in here. So then you just pull, pull out your slipper just like so. Set that off to one side and then you just you left with your slipper clutch assembly. Now as you can see on here the bearing I've got on there now is like a cheapy metal uh, sh metal shield bearing but um, basically I was just using leftover bearings I had on hand but uh, basically this bearing is just completely seized so <coughs> I'm going to clean this slipper clutch up and then I'll come back and show you how to disassemble the uh, whole unit and then install the upgrade part. I'm back now and I've cleaned up my slipper clutch assembly. So now once you've done this, the first thing you're going to do is remove this part here. And it's really simple, you just get a 2mm hex wrench, undo the little set screw or grub screw that's on it and just pull off like so. Set that off to one side, make sure you don't lose uh, your grub screw. Um, next thing to do is what I do is I just remove my bearing it should be able to pull off just like so just like that and now you're just left with this so now you're going to remove this lock nut here um, basically you grab a 8mm uh, like nut wrench and then you should it should just key into the lock nut hold down the super clutch itself and then just undo and it should just come off like so and then your spring should be able to come off with it and then set them off to one side and now you're left with the bearing adapter and you just pull this off and this is what the we're replacing uh, so if I can get this to focus in there you go so that is what we're replacing. Mine's not very worn because I did install a brand new slipper clutch assembly into the slash. But um, if you've been using it for a while, uh, they can tend to get uh, worn out. Now for the upgraded part, it's pretty much the exact same uh, part but just made out of aluminium. So make sure the cone part of this, so this bit here, faces down on the clutch, just like so and then you're going to reinstall the spring and then the lock nut so I'm going to uh, tighten the lock nut all the way down then back it off half a turn so I'm going to cut the video here and come back once I have uh, done this step so back now and as you can see I've tightened my slip clutch down to the point I'm happy with it so there you go just like that and now the next step is to bring back your uh, like drive shaft, centre drive shaft adapter. Now this has to slide on to the centre metal pole here. But make sure, see, there's a little flat spot. Now the grub screw has got to be lined up with that flat spot. Uh, 
I also recommend grabbing some thread lock to uh, put onto your grub screw, but I've already done that step. So you just get your two millimeter hex wrench and just tighten it down. Make sure it is uh, tight so it won't fall off. Um, and that is pretty much your clutch assembly back together again. So now the next step is to put your bearing back on. I'm going to use the bearing that was actually in the new package because mine, as I said, was worn out. And there you go. Now the next step is to put this back into the car. So you're going to grab the front half of the car and just slide it in and try and get it to match up with your centre drive shaft. So there you go. And then just play about with it a bit, try and get it to seat in nice and secure and it should just mesh up with your pinion as well. Now after you've done that, you're going to bring the rear clip and slide it in, just like so. Now my technique to do this is to stand the car up, hold one wheel, spin the other and then the diff will rotate and it should key in uh, pretty easily. So going to do that. Alright, so after you've done that, uh, you should then go ahead and install the two screws from the top and the two screws from the bottom. So I'm going to do that and I'll come back once um, it's all been assembled. Right now, and just rolling on the car forward, as you can see, I have reinstalled this screw, the, these two screws up top, and these two screws on the bottom. Now, from uh, replacing the bearing more than the um, little adapter, that my car runs a lot smoother because, as I said, I was using a seized bearing in there uh, for quite a while. So now that's all fixed. Uh, the metal bearing adapter should prolong the life of the hot, the like the motor um, because it's not um, putting so much wear onto it when uh, you're actually using the car. So that is pretty much the installation of uh, the Traxxas uh, bearing aluminium bearing adapter for the uh, centre or the centre. It can be installed on the centre diff, I believe. But on this occasion, I put it on the slip clutch. Uh, that, so that's a step by step guide on how to do that. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're new around here and you like the videos on my channel and you want to see more how to's, um, more unboxing videos, and such like, please do subscribe. Um, it means a lot to me and it actually shows that uh, people are interested in the videos. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please just post it uh, on down below, I'll be happy to reply. And other than that guys, I'll see you in the next video.